Hey everyone, welcome back to Stone Cell Homestead. If you're new here, I'm Kim, and today we are just going to briefly and quickly go over the pantry challenge that is hosted by Jessica at Three Rivers Homestead. And if you need to um, check out or want to check out all of those channels, you would just go to hashtag Three Rivers Challenge and you can see everybody that's participating. I wanted to say thanks again for all the new subscribers. Welcome to the channel. And we are here to, to challenge ourselves over the next two months to spend as little as possible on food. And there are some great channels out there and feel free to check those out. And hopefully you will um, find out some new things, new recipes along the way and see how this can benefit you and your family. There are other channels out there that um, just have so much content more than me. I am very new to this. I'm very elementary to this. So um, you won't find the, the clean edited videos like you would at other channels, but I still appreciate each and every one that finds value in these channels as well as my own. So the first thing I wanna say is this week, the end of week one, I did try some new recipes last night's or day seven's recipe, which was phenomenal, was that creamy pumpkin spaghetti. And I have a video out on that. It will be um, releasing very shortly and you can check that out. And I also have in the description, the notes on what I changed, what I did, what I found good and what wasn't so good with it. But overall, the, the recipe was absolutely phenomenal. I tried another recipe by accident. I made some peach popovers, homemade peach pop tarts, if you will. And um, the reason I ended up making those was I thought I pulled a pizza crust. It was unmarked and I thought it was a pizza crust because normally that's what I have in my freezer. I very seldom put pizza or pie dough in there, pie crust in there. I pulled it out, it thought it wasn't rising like it should have, and I thought, oh no, this is probably a, that pie crust that I made back at Thanksgiving. I had made too many, and that is exactly what it was. My grandkids love homemade Pop-Tarts, so that's what I made. And I do have a short on that um, peach popovers, peach Pop-Tarts, and welcome to go check that one out as well. And those were absolutely delicious. So I turned that pizza crust that I thought into a pie crust and to a pop tart. Well, I guess I have C on here. He is a visitor in today's um, video. This is one of our rescue cats. We did adopt him as well as another Maserati. And he's just checking out to see what everybody is thinking. He does get very curious with us. The next thing I did was I follow Jessica at Three Rivers Homestead. I follow her take on empty seven, fill seven. So when I empty seven jars, I'm going to refill those seven jars with something else. I have not processed or had not processed my tomatoes yet from the fall harvest. So I have quite a few um, tomatoes in the freezer that needed to be processed. So I took 60 pounds of those out of the freezer, thawed them, and my daughter-in-law and my son came over and they helped me process those. And that is also another video that is already in my um, YouTube channel links. So I did, I processed 33 and a half pints of tomato sauce and that was really a good yield, I thought, for what I had. I cooked it down a very long time. Um, I would advise draining off all those juices first. Um, that is something I learned from um, Pantry, uh, it's, it's Hickory Croft Farm, and they started another channel, and they um, talked about doing those tomatoes by draining off that juice that come from the freezer and I should have done that. So I will follow her lead on that and do that the next time. So I did process 60 pounds of the tomatoes. They are processed. I still have uh, quite a few in the, in the freezer. I'm not sure exactly, but it's every bit of 100 plus pounds yet. But we will finish those up. I thought I had a higher yield than what I did. I was guesstimating over 200 pounds and that wasn't quite accurate. It is just under 200 pounds. The fourth 
take I have from this week is I did not spend any money on food and that is a big win for us. And I know it's only the first week. We have lots of leftovers from um, New, Year, New Year's, the last week of December, but it's still a big one because we don't shop to fill up or to stock up for the pantry challenge. So when I went grocery shopping the day after Christmas, I have never shopped since then. That is what we did. Um, we, we did go to Sam's on that day, but the things that we stocked up on was not our normal stock up grocery type food. We did have some, um, but it was nothing that was considered a stock up. We just do that um, every day after Christmas, and that is our final. We buy stuff for the um, New Year's Eve celebration, and after that, we're done. So I have not shopped actually since December 26th. So we haven't been to any grocery stores and we haven't went out to eat. Our goal for January is only to go out to eat one time. And we haven't done that yet. We have been intentional about where we go and what we do when um, we, we have the weekends. But I almost messed up. On Friday, this past Friday, I was had, had some appointments and in between my two appointments, I had about two and a half hours to spare. And I thought, oh, I'm just gonna run and grab me a cup of coffee um, and that'll buy some time, give me some time. And I thought, well, I'll want, run through and see what sales they have at our local grocery store. And about as quick as I thought about going to the grocery store, I remembered we are in the pantry challenge. So that is off limits for us. That is not one of my goals. And it wasn't part of my goals for my goals to be achieved. So I nixed the coffee idea. I didn't buy that cup of coffee. I didn't go to that grocery store. I went to a thrift store. I did walk around and I did um, end up buying a couple blouses that I found at the thrift store as well as some spice jars that were for a quarter a piece and that was a win um, but I ended up spending six dollars on non-food non-grocery items well here's Sia again we call him Sia for short so was it a win this week absolutely it was a win this week I love the new recipes I tried. I tried to post every day the recipes. Days five and six, I did not do any videos because we were busy canning. I also canned pinto beans. And we did a lot of leftovers those two days. So I made some buffalo chicken dip. We had chips with that. And we just kind of snacked all day. So I don't believe that um, that was warrant warranted a video. But if you want me to, to video that, that recipe, I am happy to do that. The other thing that my husband and I are doing is a budget savings challenge. I would love to share that with you if you would be interested. If you do, just leave something in the comments. I would also um, like to do maybe a pantry tour. Is that something that you would be interested in? If so, again, leave it in the comments and I will get working on that. My daughter-in-law suggested that would be a great idea to do and I am happy to do that. Just let me know if that is something that you would enjoy to see my pantry and see what I have. And I will be happy to share that with you. So I need to get going. I need to get to work. I do work third shift at a sleep disorder center. So if you ever have any questions about sleep apnea or sleep disorders, um, shoot me a comment down in the description or down in the comments below. And I would be happy to um, share all the information I have. I am not a doctor. However, I do have um, some insight on where to get help and why you should get help. So if you are interested in that, again, let me know. And so as always, everyone, be blessed and laugh as much as you breathe. Have a great day, everyone.